everything you are going to learn yeah. from that. Uh, All right, morning. Morning, Coach. Go ahead. So I titled this Devotion, New Beginnings. We have some sort of new beginnings here at Liberty in terms of moving to the FBS and all these things that are um, happening at our university. If you guys remember, King Solomon, when, he, when, when God blessed him with the ability to be a king, a new beginning for King Solomon, and he said, you know what, King Solomon, you can have whatever you want. I'll give you everything in the world. He only asked for wisdom and knowledge, and that was it. You know, we're kind of in the same situation where we have this great opportunity that, that God has presented us, and it just depends on where your heart's at. So ask, but be careful what you ask for. Be careful what you ask for. What, what, what spirit is it from and what heart? So that's my encouragement to us. As we go through these new beginnings, let's micro-focus. Let's focus on being the best we can in God's sight, not in man's sight. And, and let's acknowledge him when we have success. And he's going to make our ways straight. He's going to make our path straight. And I can't wait to go on this ride with each and every one of you. It's going to be a blast. And I'm just ready to go. That's my message, Coach. All righty. When I got hired, uh, we definitely talked about uh, FBS and really with uh, Jerry Falwell Jr. That was always the case going back all the way to uh, the late Jerry Falwell, Dr. Jerry Falwell. Uh, I wanted to play at the highest level. And so that's always been the dream. That's what I wanted to be a part of. I thought I could help this university, help this football program to reach that. We knew it was going to be on God's timing. Um, and you know, we just got to do my job. That My job was to continue to improve the program. Uh, continue to do the things that we can do to develop our student athletes, get them to get their degrees, and have them to continue to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. Well, about five years ago, we did a study to determine if we were ready for FBS. And this, the study by a sports consultant determined we were ready to move up. And so we had to get a conference invitation. Well, the problem is the conferences that we approached are almost all public universities. and. Liberty just really wasn't a good fit geographically. There were always two or three presidents that didn't, didn't want Liberty in that conference for this, this reason or that one. And so we, we finally decided to approach the NCAA and ask for a waiver because of our special circumstances and explain to them how all these other schools prior to 2011 could not have ever become FBS schools if that rule had been in effect. And um, went to Nashville in January and met with several of their a couple of their committees and, and told our story, told the story of Liberty and the, the leadership there um, agreed with us. I received that call about two o'clock in the afternoon on, on February 16th and uh, was certainly hopeful it was going to be good news and it was. My first uh, thought was we need to get ready for the press conference and then uh, after the press conference is over we need to get in the phone and start scheduling some football games. What a, what a tremendous blessing today is, and uh, we're just uh, truly, truly grateful to have the opportunity to uh, reclassify from FCS to FBS. It'll be a process that takes place over two years, and so this coming season in 2017, we'll continue to play FCS football. In 2018, we'll move to be a transitional FBS member, and then in 2019, we'll be a full-fledged member of FBS. We're very excited about it. Uh, very honored, and uh, we're going to work extremely hard to make sure that this is uh, a successful transition and one that, uh, again, glorifies God in all that we do. We had two defensive players, Corbin Jackson and Chris Turner, ran into our room and said, um, hey, do you guys hear we're going to FBS? And as coaches, we're just like looking around like, I don't know where you guys heard that from, but it's not true. What was funny is that Coach Gill was in our, he was in the staff room at that time, right when they came in there and said that, he got a phone call, like looked at his phone and stepped out. So Coach Brown was just like, I'm just gonna go ask Coach Gill. So Coach Brown just knocks on his door, he doesn't answer. Then he just like knocks again and like opens the door and Coach Gill's standing in there on the phone. Coach Brown says, are we going FBS? And Coach Gill just takes the phone and just shakes his head. Nice, nice. You feel somebody coming, you just give them a little wiggle. You know about that 7-Eleven. You're always open. 
If you look at that 2018 schedule, it's a pretty stark uh, difference when you're going to play uh, uh, at an Auburn who's won a national championship, uh, Virginia, a uh, high quality program. Again, we have Rutgers, we have BYU, um, Virginia Tech. Uh, the teams that we have on our schedule in future years are, are uh, teams that have succeeded at the very highest level of college football. So we certainly are gonna, it's gonna challenge uh, every one of us. I, I've told uh, our coaches, our staff, myself, and our student athletes, we're all gonna have to raise the level of our game. And if we do that, we can, we can be really successful. We're gonna have some tough years competing at that level, but we're gonna start attracting the best Christian athletes, the, uh, the best uh, student athletes that, that are out there. And it's, it may take a few years to really make a mark at that level, but it's, um, that's part of it. We're, we're gonna play some heavy hitters. We're gonna have to do a great job of recruiting, but what we're really gonna need more than any of this is the God factor. We can't be a poor man's version of Alabama. We have to be Liberty. We have to be so who we are in Christ that the God factor takes over. The God factor doesn't mean you automatically win it, 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 because you're legalistically praying more or going to convos or reading your Bibles more. And so what we have to learn is that whether it's FBS or FCS, when you're living right in Christ, all these intangible things that you don't see start happening and it flows out into your actions. That's the God factor. And when we start maximizing our talent, we give ourselves the best chance to win every game. My hope is that every team we play plays their best game against us, and then we're gonna play them nose to nose, hard, intense, physical football, and beat them. We can be Where is that?